Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinaya Vijay Kumar, a doctor and a motherhood empowerment coach. In this video, we are going to discuss an important topic which is bleeding in pregnancy. Bleeding is one alarming factor for every pregnant woman which she is usually worried about throughout her pregnancy. Let us discuss more about what are all the different causes, what should you do once you have the bleeding and what should you do to avoid this kind of bleeding. First, what are all the probable causes of bleeding? Number one, it can be because of miscarriage, the most common one. It can be incomplete miscarriage or a threatened abortion or even a complete abortion. Number two, it can be because of subchorionic hematoma. There can be blood collection between the layers of placenta or between the attachment of placenta and the uterus wall. This could be the probable reason for bleeding. Number three, it can be placenta previa. Your placenta should be on the upper end of the uterus. For some women, it can be at the lower end towards the os, cervical os, which can lead to bleeding at times. Number four, it can be an implantation bleeding, which is a normal phenomena, but still an alarming one as it is causing bleeding. Next, it could be the abruptio placenta. Here, the blood seeks into the layers of placenta, which can lead to bleeding in the pregnancy. First and foremost, understand one thing. There is a difference between spotting and bleeding. Spotting is nothing but few drops of blood and most commonly it would be brownish colored blood and not a fresh blood. On the other hand, bleeding could be something more like a periods where the free flow of blood will be there. Spotting, it can mimic mostly in case of implantation bleeding. So where after the ovulation, the sperm and uh, ovum gets fertilized, that fertilized ovum is getting implanted or settled in the uterus wall which is causing some layers to shed out, which is called implantation bleeding. Usually, this is not a bleeding, but a kind of spotting, which resolves in, you know, uh, within a day or within few minutes. So, even in that case, anytime, whenever you have a bleeding, it is always best to consult your gynecologist to do an ultrasound scan or to do a vaginal examination. What the doctors would do to find out the reasons for the uh, bleeding in the pregnancy. First and foremost, it would be the visual examination. They would look for any infections in the vagina by per speculum examination or visual examination. Next, they would do a PV examination where they would insert the hands into the uh, vaginal area to look for if the cervix is open or closed. Also, they would do a scan to see if there are any other reasons in the upper end of the uterus or in the baby to look for the probable causes of this bleeding. All this three has to happen simultaneously to rule out the cause for the bleeding. If it is implantation bleeding, nothing to worry at all. It's going to settle and it's normal physiological feminine. But on the other hand, if it is other reasons like what I have mentioned earlier, if in case, if it's a placenta previa, you need to be on rest for the couple of days so that any exertion can lead to further bleeding. So optimal rest along with progesterone supplements will help. Next. If it is due to subchorionic hematoma or hemorrhage, we just have to observe bed rest along with observation because most of the time as pregnancy advances, there is a fair chance that the subchorionic hematoma or hemorrhage will get resolved and vanish into thin air. So you have to follow it up in the upcoming scans to look for the size of the placenta clot as well as to see if it's present or completely resolved. If it is incomplete or threatened abortion, if it's threatened abortion, you need to take necessary precautions like medications along with bed rest and follow it up with further scans. If it is incomplete abortion or complete abortion, this can lead to uh, you know, medical invasive procedures where you will be given uh, either a DNC or medical methods of termination of pregnancy because you know the fetus cannot survive further. In the second trimester, there could be probable reasons like abruptio placenta where the bleeding can happen as well. In that case, a proper rest along with medications and proper follow-up is absolutely necessary. So what should you do once you have a bleeding? First and foremost, do not panic. You getting panicky or you getting stressful itself causes things to worsen up and it will never help you in any aspect. So stop panicking immediately. Take a deep breath, relax yourself and the most important thing, reach out to your care provider or gynecologist at the earliest. Make sure that the baby is fine inside by doing a scan or visual examination and a per vaginal examination 
to look if the os is closed and there are no probable causes for the potential harmful causes of bleeding third taking proper medications as advised by your gynecologist so that it helps you getting better with the situation so what can be done to prevent bleeding in pregnancy First and foremost, if you have your early scans in place and if you have found out a low-lying placenta or a subchorionic hematoma, it is always advisable to stay in rest for the couple of days or weeks so that this condition gets better. Number two, avoid lifting heavy weights. If you had one episode of spotting and uh, it's always better to avoid any kind of physical exertion. Here I mean lifting heavy weights or doing strenuous works and not normal walking or day-to-day uh, -day household chores, you can very well do that unless and until you have some grave reason not to do that. And if it is an incomplete or complete abortion, definitely you have to visit the care provider for medical termination of pregnancy or DNC procedures to evacuate the products of conception. And fourth, implantation bleeding. This is a completely normal phenomena. Here you don't have to do anything. Just reassure yourself by doing a scan so that everything else is perfect and just enjoy your pregnancy. So I hope in this video we discussed and you are now clear about what are all the probable causes for bleeding, what should you do once you have the bleeding, what will be done in the medical care once you reach out for this problem and what are all the things you should do to avoid further bleeding or spotting in your pregnancy. If you like this video, do like, comment and share it with your friends and family and do not forget to subscribe and press on that notification button so that you don't uh, miss out on any further videos on this channel. Until I see you in the next video, stay happy, stay mummified.